all right welcome back so before we get started with our first machining operation i want you to go ahead and change the colors of all the geometry here to another color the reason for that is that i want to actually show my stock while i'm machining while i'm creating the machining operations and if i do so if i come over here under properties expand it go to the stock setup and display it i can either display it as a wireframe or a solid that's going to be your stock now if I display it as a wireframe and select OK, you're going to notice that the wireframe shows up. It's just that it is. It's a wireframe. It just shows a bunch of wires connecting uh, those two together, which shows a cylinder, but it doesn't show it in a solid matter. Now obviously the downfall of that is that the line that you have here and a few of the lines, maybe this circle, are a little bit hard to see because they're the same color. Now obviously if you go back to stock and select a solid and select OK, uh, that looks better, but also you can see that you can barely see this line, especially this dot that you have, the uh, point that you have uh, created over here, and also a little bit of the lines. Now, I can see them due to my experience with Mastercam, but uh, um, that's just not right for you to see the solid as well as the geometry with the same colors. So let me go back real quick to the stock and select display so it doesn't show up anymore. And let's go ahead and select all your geometry. So left click on the bottom left. And uh, as soon as you left click, it creates the box. So you don't need to hold the left click button on the mouse and then left click on the top left over here. You select everything. This is how you know you have everything selected uh, is by everything looking like dashes, black and yellow dashes. Okay. Now come over here under analyze entity properties. And let's go ahead and change that color to maybe a bluish color, okay? So we'll select color number nine and select okay. Now don't forget to hit propagate. There you go, and select okay. So now everything turns blue. So if I go back to my stock setup and display it, you can keep it as solid if you want as well and select okay. See how it looks nice? Now you know that this is your uh, stock and everything else is just the geometry and you can go from there. You can go even a step further and for example, select this line to be green. This way you know whatever is in blue is one operation, whatever is in green is another operation, okay? But this is just uh, a little video to show you how to change colors uh, and you can also change many things with the attributes. For example, if I select everything again and go to analyze entity properties, uh, okay, you can actually change different attributes about the lines, making them shorter and small, making different points longer and shorter, making the line thicknesses uh, look different. For example, it doesn't have to be a solid line and even the thickness look thinner or uh, thicker over here as well. Okay, but you always uh, have to remember to click on propagate so they would show up before you click on OK. If you click on OK, it just exits. If you click on propagate, that's when it applies whatever changes you've decided to make.